Modern chordates consist of six familiar groups, the non-vertebrate chordates, and five groups of vertebrates, fishes, amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. About 96% of all living chordate species are vertebrates. Among vertebrates, fishes are the largest group by far. Yet today's chordate species are only a small fraction of the total number of chordates that have existed over time. Use the cladogram to familiarize yourself with the relationships among the major groups of chordates and introduce yourself to the evolution of important chordate adaptations. The phylum chordata includes both vertebrates and non-vertebrate chordates. All groups, all clades, share a common invertebrate ancestor. This cladogram shows current hypotheses about the evolutionary relationships among living chordate groups. The different colored lines represent the traditional groupings of these animals as listed in the key. The circles, the nodes, indicate the evolution of some important chordate adaptations. Take a look at some of these adaptations on the cladogram. Each time a new adaptation evolved in chordate ancestors, a major adaptive radiation occurred. Recall that adaptive radiation is the phenomenon by which a lineage rapidly becomes much more diverse. A lot of speciation and evolution happens at one time. A notable adaptation for, that displays this was the development of jaws, which jump-started the adaptive radiation of jawed fishes, now the most diverse chordate group. Other important adaptations include the development of true bone and paired appendages. Adaptive radiation was the result of the evolution of one or more important chordate adaptations. Which groups on this cladogram lacked true bone? Well, we can find true bone as a characteristic evolving at this node. So the groups that lacked true bone are those that evolved before this. That includes non-vertebrates, jawless fishes, and cartilaginous fishes such as sharks and their relatives. Which characteristic represented here evolved independently in two separate lineages? Endothermy evolved separately in both mammals and birds. Endothermy is warm bloodedness. So mammals and birds both evolved that characteristic independently. What characteristic do all reptiles share, but amphibians lack? Well, reptiles share an amniotic egg. An amniotic egg. So reptiles, including turtles, tortoises, lizards, snakes, and really everything that evolved following reptiles include amniotic eggs. Salamanders, frogs, and toads, they don't have amniotic eggs. The rest of the presentation will look more closely at the different chordate groups.